missed that. So, has been a few days since I played this, since uh, I started a new channel, being linked somewhere up top, started a reaction channel, and I also started Horizon Forbidden West, so yeah, it's been a couple days since I played this, um, that music still hidden. I think the last thing that uh, we left off on was getting to the fishbowl, meeting Frank, and things of that nature. I, I don't remember what else we have to do. But uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. can't do a takedown on him, whatever the hell he is. Damn! Oh, was that a bloater? That definitely was a bloater. God damn it, I'm gonna get fucked up here. Alright, I'm out. Alright, I'm out. Y'all got it. 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 Give me a second, bud. Give me one second, bud. Alright, never mind. You wanted to turn around early? Fine. Turn around early, then. Oh, you tried to. What the fuck? They learning shit? He faked me out. Take both of your fucking masks off, ugly ass nigga. Back up. Two for one. Who in here? Leave me alone, please. Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? What Who do you, you? want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Rowe and the others. They got a few, and they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up, and lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. And oh, here comes fuck. more. Whoa, that's a big nigga. Careful. Hide. Go you to bitch hell. ass nigga. You snarling, growling, savage ass niggas! Oh man, you, now you just now all you did was just piss me off, dog. Now all you did was just piss me off. Fuck, oh, fuck up with these damn arrows and shit. So you just tried to swing me when my back was turned and shit. You still missed. Oh my god, I fucking dodged one, run into another because I'm not looking, and now I'm stuck in this goddamn truck and shit. You dumb piece of- You Hawkeye looking mother- Where's the damn thing? Where's the damn thing? Where you at? Go ahead, throw something else. Go ahead, throw something else. Who's the nigga with the bow? Fuck out of here, dumbass. Yeah, how'd that feel? How'd that feel? Who you calling asshole, asshole? Dumb, fat, piece of shit. Huh? Sick of all you dumbass niggas, man. Damn. Nobody ever want to give me the faith of a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Shit is annoying. Bring your punk hey, ass outside. We're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Rome? <sighs> Camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof. By the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Call yourself a soldier. What a bitch. Y'all. Oh. 
And you didn't see me. How unfortunate. Thing in here. You did not see me. You simply couldn't have. Aiden, what was that aim? Look at you. The hell are you trying to kick? Huh? Big man, big man. Yeah, get your hits in. Get your licks in. <laughs> Double team. Stay down. Stay down. Want some of what? Want some of what? Huh? Look at you. Sitting in a damn crate. Stuck in shit. Saying that. You're free, bud. How's it going? Found Ro yet? Uh, not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Shit. Hang Let's on. I'm on my way. Asses. Weren't you trying to, like, race me here? And I literally went to go do something else for a day and came back and yet you still aren't here. What the hell is she doing? Slacking, is she? Please wait. Taken care of. Check the status of the squad. Damn. Downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant Sir. I think his name is Bozo. They won't bother you. <laughs> you fucking you Bozo. Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's elves have brought us. Good one. Withdraw now. This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five of our very I didn't best. ask, nor do I care. Has killed more virals than an entire I am unit. a messenger, but Sierra they're... and Little Ron, they've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their life for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Yeah. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important if idiotic business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Oh my god, okay, you gentlemen. dumb cunt. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out, or take care of it here and now? Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, Check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. Mm-hmm. All right, where did everybody go? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, here she is. Get that shit out of here. Threw it through a brick wall. You old mask. 
Interesting. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. Yeah, right. Because I'm just going to give up now. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic. A butcher. And a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. You giving up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything <laughs> they touched. You giving up? Ugh. This was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. I so, usually do. Splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list, they'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. Gosh. So much for that. There's nothing more to say. What is up with all you impatient ass niggas? I just turned around, you fucking weirdo. Damn. Saw me. You're mine now. Oh, my God, Aiden. I've got you now. Here I come. Get no escape. Do this one at a time, bud. That was clean. Alright, that wasn't clean. You weren't supposed to swing twice in a row, you dick. Fuck out of my face. Back up. Damn, yo, he got fucked on. He got fucked on. Little sh shoulder. Ah, fuck. Little sh shoulder. Oh my god. God damn it. Ready for this? I tried to shoulder check him. It's not working. It's not working. We fucking traded. Step the fuck down. Minefield. Start digging a shelter today. And build a well. My podcast tells you how. Get as much sodium dichloral, isocyanurate, and silver chloride as possible. You can't survive without potable water. Stockpile as many cans of meat and uh. meat as possible, especially Harry. 
Well, if you're a vegetarian, well, it was nice knowing you. Check my recipe section to learn how to prepare tasty dishes using earthworms and other critters once the canned food runs out. And don't forget, you'll need to be able to defend yourself in the hellish afterscape. My 50 deadly weapons made of handy items course teaches you how to build feces bombs and a sardine slingshot, among other weapons. With my help, you might just survive the end of the world. Stay strong. I'm scared. I do not want to just randomly blow up. Yeah. Right. Uh. Move. What the hell is all this noise? They look like they're gonna be so some one. big shit in here. Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Who won? Mm. Hey, Major Matt. Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. All right. <laughs> What the? Bro, why? this thing can just. Oh my god. God damn. Just had an aneurysm inside the gooey stuff, man. You gonna wake up a fucking night hunter. Who that? The f Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey! Wait! Greg. Nigga, what? We just went from all the way over here to all the way back over here. And now they want me to go here. What? Look at this damn sunrise, man. Shit beautiful as fuck. God damn. This is the damn PK headquarters. You now, Who are you talking to? Oh, are you talking to him? I was about to, I was about to say, bud. Get your shit rocked. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yo. What's going on, Having fellas? Are you new here? Shut up, bitch. No Yo. Loitering. No loitering. Shut up, nigga. Halt. Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Uh. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. Not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. Okay. Those probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. His voice doesn't really match his body. That's all I got for today. I thought our chances against <laughs> Low one health, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like I fell off a building or anything. Just make sure you have all the gear you need. Hey, where's dispatch? 
there. I was about to say, you got shit in your ears, right, buddy. Then. The hell? We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Who are they, night runners? Or night runner, night runner wannabes. Myers is a woman. This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Are these jail cells? God damn, she busted. I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But, uh, and maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. Driscoll. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. <laughs> Where can I find him? In a headquarters. On downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Thanks, Driscoll. What's O Driscoll from? Is that from GTA? I don't remember. Not forgive the renegades Carriers. I mean, it's a side quest. I doubt I'll find any actual valuable information from it. But I'll still do it just because... I'll get to meet the head honcho of the carriers, right? Right? Bald ass nigga. All right, Myers. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. I don't yeah, remember you. I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold fight your own. Fight at the canteen. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Fight at the canteen. I really don't remember. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK Headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Okay. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I bet. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is I he why you joined the military? That's much Pretty better. Much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Oh! He's bleeding out! I thought his name was Ador. Fuck. Oh Ador's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Summon the medics. Wait, who's? To save him. Hang on, Ador. Oh, Ador, Jack Matt is the black dude. Get moving. Wait, what? Wasn't he with the survivors? Yeah, I'm survives. so fucking confused. We lost two people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, Ador blames me for that shit. I'm beating the fuck out of him. I'm beating the dog shit out of him if he blames me for getting his ass whooped. I told him, 
told him that uh, old Waltz was in there and he underestimated him. But I'm so confused. When we were... Okay, yeah, now I remember where the canteen was, right? Canteen, a.k.a. Fishbowl. We fought there. But then we saw the black dude, who is Jack Matt. Didn't he tell us to come here to meet <laughs> Jack Matt? <laughs> Who did we come here to meet? There's no way we came here to meet Myers just for her to tell us to fucking go see Jack Matt who we we're just, I, I don't know bro. I don't even know what the objective is right now. I genuinely don't. It, she just said that was a side quest going to check on Ada is a side quest. So what the fuck is the main objective? This game got me all t bro. I look like a fucking watchdogs character dog. What the fuck is that? Why did it just put me on the map? Look at this nigga man. Look like I'm about to start hacking some shit. Um, the story quest, talk to Jack Matt. The side quest, learn more about eight dwarves. How could he be that fucked up? He got kneed in the stomach and then tossed towards me. Hot potato, potato, other potatoes. <laughs> Hi. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Jack A. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Got fucking Corona, dog? Until today, I know what this is? I don't. These brass knuckles belong first to Commander Lucas. I do. Never mind. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. From the butcher. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, oh my God. tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I don't trust you, my brother. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. The Butcher's right hand? I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Mm -hmm. He said the butcher's right hand, man. So... The butcher is the big cheese, the, the, the chief, the nigga at the top of all of this? There's no way. There's no way. I thought Walt said to be. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran, at night, in secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. Goddamn. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? Walt's the city has dead. electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. 
Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I'm in. Good. The butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. Okay, bud. <coughs> you don't seem too, uh, capable, my brother. You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me, sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Hmm. Until today, um, I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. The but hell? now, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't need to listen to that other piece of dialogue on whether or not he would help me or not, because I don't need to know whether or not he'll help me. Because <laughs> if he don't, we gonna have some problems, my my brother. Your your head looking quite smackable. You feel me? What else is there to talk about? Aiden, what do you want, son? Son. These renegades. It seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it. Destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the I mean... city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white yeah. motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. White gloves. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract I just picture Colonel with Sanders. Our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. Yeah, yeah, KFC so the people guy. know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense that the butcher is the leader because we haven't seen him yet. Type shit. Like Waltz, the fact that he is out here, like doing grunt shit, like grunt work. <laughs> trying to get keys and like going around he, he kind of seems like a general not necessarily the main villain he might still be a main villain but like not the head honcho type sheet nothing I think I know everything I need good luck then good luck soldier alright I'm picking up what you're putting down I got you got you um, I mean, since we're here, yeah, I think these are our cells. But my, while we're here, we might as well check on Ader, Ator. Open the damn door. Where is he at? Is where I checking at? <laughs> God damn! Headband ain't even covering your forehead. Surprised they even got wheelchairs. Where is he at? No, Stephen. Goofy herd brother will decide my husband's fate. Stephen. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic? He has tears? kids. Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. Who are you? How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I... Uh, People here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. 
The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Mm -hmm. Which has happened plenty. Why did this nigga turn around like it was some kind of big reveal? I have no idea who you are. <laughs> and how the hell did they get Ator all the way over here? Because if you remember, we had to jump down a fucking bridge. Across like two broken bridges and then down a, a steep ass thingamabobber. And it was surrounded by chemical shit. So how the hell did he get over here? Carried if anyways. If somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions <laughs> die hard. <laughs> Margaret has helped many people everywhere. What's that bitch's problem? Some just don't want to admit it. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in the to help door is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if Fuck he dies, that, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. COVID Island? Did this nigga just say Coronavirus Island? And why did Aiden say it like that? He was like, so if Aider dies, no one will know what happened in Old Villador. Does that mean I will get the choice? Letting my brother die right here? You punk bitch. You better hope not, Ador. Leave it up to me. You might not see another day. <laughs> you might not see the light of another day. Who the fuck are you talking to? You're a fucking janitor, bitch. Keep sweeping. La 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 Matt told me to see you. Again. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. About time, Thanks. brother. We Damn. Plan. The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? I can do it. Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. I can do it's anything. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing they good, I bet. Fall and die? Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Hmm. I don't understand the point of the haircut that everybody has. They let the top grow and cut the sides off. In a zombie apocalypse, you might as well just cut everything off. Uh, what makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside. Are you fucking so kidding me? It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors. Give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. That's a short heart. <laughs> that is such a fucking short. I don't even think, you yeah, know, I haven't even killed a single volatile yet. I haven't even gotten close. Like, I haven't even gotten one that half health yet, dog. Wait, wiped out? I could. Even every last night runner? One on That's one. the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. How did he live? Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. 
drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Damn. I kind of wish Dying Light did uh, flashbacks, uh, flashback storytelling. Because I want to see. <laughs> I want to see what they saw and how they got clapped. Why didn't they wait till nighttime? They still be in that building at nighttime? Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when See what you his do deal him, is. Kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Okay. You can go now. Uh, I was leaving. Try and dismiss me, bitch. Now, I'm not so sure. UV flashlight. You have received a UV flashlight. Uh, to use it, you equip it and hold L2. And when it reaches zero, you have to wait for it to recharge. Keep infected within the UV light cone until they fall to the ground. Gotcha. Do I have to craft it first, or do I have it? No, I have it. Do I gotta go outside? Where the fuck am I? Why did it just tell me to come this way? Why can't I just go out the way I came in? I gotta go find a nigga named Juan first. Is he down here? Juan. Who are you? Dispatcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. Don't care. He doesn't have time for you. Yeah, he does. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Matt sent me. <laughs> no one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just Juan. Get with the program. Sides, he Get under my here. face, dumbass. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supplier turf now. Mind your manners. Yo. <laughs> Watch your fucking mouth, Goofy. You didn't even give me a name. You're less than a side character. You're fucking civilian. Open the damn door. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. French. The commander sent me. <laughs> he can't yeah, go Jacques high. Jacques I can't even you. copy that, bro. Jacques? What the fuck? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? I kind of like it, and it's kind of really annoying. <laughs> I, I, I can't uh, decide. Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, oh drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? What? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Okay. Hello, Juan. Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Juan. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. This place is actually kind of fire. PKs. Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. You coming here or what? 
Yo, you niggas. <laughs> you niggas love talking out, your, out the side of your mouths way too often, bro. Um, these niggas are annoying. Fucking, they send me all the way over here to talk to like eight different people just to send me back to Fisheye and talk to some more people. Like, come on, man. Let's just get this shit over and done with.